please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Hey Hawks, I'm Monroe. I'm Correa. And this is the Hill Morning News. I'm Isabel, and one of the top shows that everyone is talking about today is The Last of Us. The first episode was released on January 15, 2023 on HBO Network. The genre of this show is post-apocalyptic drama and thriller. It is about a fungal infection outbreak that ravaged the planet, which still continues for 20 years. These two survivors, Joel and Ellie, have the biggest mission ahead of them, which can change the world. It's based on a video game from 2013 that was developed by Naughty Dog. It currently has nine episodes with 4.4 star ratings, and do you guys think you'll watch it? Because I know I will. Bye, Shadies. Hey, Hawks. I'm here with... Mr. Hatch. Okay, so today's question is, what is your morning routine? Usually, I set the alarm for about 5.45. I sleep in until 6. But um, I get up, I read the newspapers through my tablet or my computer. I check up on Detroit stories. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, not Michoacan. And, uh, and then I, uh, I'm, I catch up on stories locally and government-wise, but I do that while relieving myself. Then um, I go to uh, grab a little bit of breakfast. Oh, I forgot, I take a shower too. Mm. That's really important yep. on a daily basis. And then I end up uh, uh, waking my daughter up. She gets up about 6.15, but if she sleeps till 6.30, I pour water on her to make her get up. Cold water usually works better. Then we leave by 6.40. If I leave later than that, I get stuck in traffic coming from Tomas, because my daughter goes to Tomas. So we drop, we get breakfast on the road. Uh, we get to Tomas about 7.30. I hear by 7.40 usually, and uh, that's my day. Okay, and the next question is, are you ready for midterms? More than ready for midterms. I'm ready for a break, as a matter of fact. This mm -hmm. vacation is well needed, but seniors, you have five weeks to go after this, so you guys better be ready. All right. Hey Hawks, I'm here with Miss Williams. Woo! Okay, and so today's question is, what is your morning routine when you get up? When I actually get out of the bed after yeah. hitting the snooze button yes. three, maybe four, four times. times. Yeah. Okay, so what I do, I stretch. I do a little yoga because I'm old and my bones creak. And sometimes you wake up and you get up and you go this way and your knee is like, nope, you don't want to go that way. <laughs> so I do that first and then I drink about 10 to 12 ounces of water. Oh. I finally get up, I go relieve myself. Can I say that? Is that too much information? No. Okay, so we do that. And then I go downstairs, I take out my puppy because he needs to go in the morning too or I'm gonna have a puddle in the house. Okay, what's your puppy's name? Sunny. Ooh. And then my other two dogs, 14 and 16, are D.O.G. and Jazz. And so I feed and walk them, then I wake up my nephew, and he gets dressed and I get dressed and then we try to get out of the house by 7.05 but normally we get out at 7.12. I drop him off, I drive over here and I come to you all. That's my Woo! morning. All right, and then the next question is, are you ready for spring break? <laughs> is that even a question? <laughs> yes, I am so ready. I am sleeping the whole weekend and then I wake up on Monday and go out into the world again. So yes, I'm very All right, excited. and last question is, how do you feel about the seniors leaving? Don't cry, don't cry. Okay. <laughs> Tears, because for many of them, they know that they were my last students that I've worked with at Tomas. So to come to Mead Valley and see them graduate, it's great. And for all of the other seniors who now um, secretly stalk me, it's wonderful too um, because I love you all and I know that there is greatness inside of you and even though I would want to keep you here you can't stay you have to go out into the world and be great okay that's all we have for you guys have a good day bye Hawks bye my name is Abigail Villarreal this year I made it to state 
I enjoyed it a lot. It was really fun. My biggest takeaway was that hard work really pays off. My PR in the three mile was 18.17. I got it at Bell Gardens Invitational in Long Beach and the race was really cool. My favorite part about being on the cross country team were the people because everyone was really cool. Like I developed really cool friendships with everyone on the team and we were all really close. I like running because it's therapeutic and it's just like a nice way to cool down basically. This started in middle school when I first joined. I hope to make it to state again next year and place in the top 10 in the state. I want to attend UC Santa Barbara or UCI. I would run in college if I get a scholarship. Coach Isaiah Posey. You know, it was certainly lessons to be learned. Um, despite my, you know, basis and knowledge in the sport, it was definitely a learning experience. Uh, patience, really. Um, I remember when I was running, the results seemed to really come like overnight, but um, for many, that's really not the case. So just patience and trusting the workouts and trusting the work that we're doing was, was really important. Honestly, the work ethic. I mean, she really bought into the program and did everything that was asked of her and then some. And it showed, you know, um, the 27th place, you know, at state and uh, school record in the 5K and three mile speaks to that. Uh, I really enjoyed coaching cross country this season. Uh, it was my first time and I didn't know very much about the sport, but from coaching and being around the athletes, I learned quite a bit. Uh, one of the biggest lessons I learned is that uh, I'm not as knowledgeable at uh, something that I really don't have too much experience in. I, I was a track runner in college, sprinter, so I really relied on my assistant coaches and my former athletes to kind of show me the ropes. My favorite part about working with Abby is that um, she's a great athlete, really respectful, and uh, but I would say my favorite part is how many times I got to race her during, uh, during practice, and uh, yeah, she really humbled me. Um, so I, I definitely get a lot of respect for that girl. Welcome back, Hawks. Remember, I'm Monroe. I'm Correa. And today's National Star Wars Day, so... May the 4th be with you. Bye.